Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for August 6th through the 12th. Typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So if this reading feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. It may not be your reading. Could be. We'll see whatever happens. The timing is fluid. This could be happening right now. Could be happening next week. You know, whenever. Could have already happened. Oh, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. <laughs> Go ahead. Do it, Capricorn. Express, 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 express. Could lead to victory and success. Okay, it could. That's what this card is, victory and success. The Page of Swords in reverse, you may be a little fearful of it. Maybe you're afraid that, you know, something bad could happen out of this. Maybe you feel like something isn't quite right. I'm not sure. Maybe you really like your independence at this time. Maybe you're just enjoying life as it is. And, you know, when you get to this point, it's that's when things change when you get to this point where you have a, a lot of abundance you know inner abundance inner you know internal external whatever when you're enjoying life and to the fullest that's when your life changes even again so I feel like there's there's you're giving up the perhaps you're giving up your singlehood um, maybe, you know, you, you found somebody and your guard is a little up, but it feels like this isn't something, it's like, this is letting your guard down, letting your guard down. Now, I, I'm afraid that, you know, maybe you're afraid that you're biting off more than you can chew here. Okay. Because I feel like I see a lot of, um, a new door is opening for you. And I think that is in love, and you may be a little uh, worried about it, put it that way. Oh my goodness. Could lead to marriage, commitment, could be a soulmate. Soulmate, commitment. You could be dealing with a Taurus. We have Aquarius here, Libra and Gemini, are re those are reversed. I feel as though, you know... Holding on to worry and fear doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. You know, don't let your fears of, of love hold you back. Okay, do not. I think there's an opportunity here for something really, really wonderful. A soulmate connection that could lead to something really long term. That's your new door that is opening, Capricorn. I think you manifested it. I feel like... Um, don't let your fears of this not working out, like I said, hold you back. I think you you have fears that, you know, this could be too good to be true, but that's that's not the case. This this does look very solid with the Hierophant. Represents the sign of Taurus, but it also says believe in it. Believe, have faith and trust. So, I feel like you may be reluctant to open your heart up fully. Because you're trying to protect yourself. That's what it looks like. You're trying to protect yourself. But this is something you manifested. This is something that that you really want. Um, I see. This is victory and success. You don't need to ha protect yourself. You, let your guard down, please. Let your guard down. This is what I have. What is what I see? Is that you know? There's an opportunity for something really really solid and stable here that's being I think it's it's like given to you from above this is a this is like heaven sent 
but you're trying to protect yourself. That's why it's reverse. I see you're trying to protect yourself. It's something that you manifested. It's like your prayers have been answered, Capricorn. That's what I see. So, I mean, and this is for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. We're going to focus this in. And then get some more cards. So, go ahead. Express your love. Open your heart. Go ahead. Okay. Your challenge is, is, is continuing to, to let your guard down. Don't, don't let the past, whatever happened, hold you back. Your, your, um, being called to, to believe in this. Have faith. Your guard is up. That's blocking. Okay. Don't unblock your heart, please. Unblock it. Unblock it. Just let it flow. You know, there's, a, there's, there's, you need to have confidence in this. You need to have courage. Get creative. I think you're afraid, you're afraid of, of committing yourself and then having it fall apart. But you have all the resources within you to make it work. You have a lot of wisdom. You do. You have a lot of wisdom, a lot of life experience behind your back. Don't let fears, because I see the fears, hold you back from a loving commitment. I think that, you know, there's a, a feeling of being taken advantage of. I don't want to get taken advantage of. I don't, I, I don't want to... lose my focus either and I think that you guys have a lot of focus and concentration I think that you guys have concentrated on your well-being for quite some time that's how you get to this nine of pentacles you concentrated on yourself your job your work your money your health everything and you've gotten to a really good place and I think now that you now you know there's an opportunity for love and you're afraid that you, you know I don't want to go backwards I don't want to go backwards but that's just a thought okay that's just a thought, you know, that's just a mental obstacle that, that is in your mind. You don't have to let that control you. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of loneliness. It's the end of heartache. It's the end of a difficult time. It's, it's a time to, like I said, open your heart. There's an opportunity for something to come together very, very, very nicely. This is a... I think it's like a it's like a it's a gift from above. I feel as though there's an there's an opportunity for uh, a coming together that is that you've patiently waited for. You know, you've done your work, you've evolved, you're not the same person. You've gotten to this point where you're really ready for this. You're ready for this communion or whatever it is, this companion. And I feel like this companion is now here. You've done a lot of healing work. I see the healing. But now the last step is to unblock your heart and let this, let this happen. You know, you may have felt, maybe you have a lack of self-confidence. Or you did have a lack of self-confidence or a lack of, of self-esteem or a lack of, of growth in the past. But it feels to me like, you know, there's really no hurry. There's no hurry to rush into this. Just if you're feeling a little less than confident about this connection, take your time with it. You know, time, patience will reveal all that you need to know. So allow this to unfold. Unblock your heart. Take it day by day, and, and it could lead to something really, really long-term, okay? So I feel like there is an opportunity for love here that is very genuine, and you're being called to just go with it, express your love, and take your time. Justice is about to be served in your favor. I feel like you have been, perhaps you've been brought down by another person. 
and that's why you've blocked this. Somebody has brought you to the, to your knees in the past, but now it feels as though the 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 heavens have brought in you a gift, and it one one of the steps is to is to allow it, you know, to let it receive, to receive this gift, you know. Just I feel like, you know, what you deserve is being offered to you, but you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone and allow it to happen. Now, this is, is, is uh, family feuds. It is, the Ten of Pentacles, or changes in your home. This could be, you know... In the past, there's been there's been a lot of um, family issues or issues with money in the home or home problems or whatever, but I feel like that time is, is over. I do. I feel like somebody, maybe somebody, maybe you lost a home through a divorce or you're going to, I don't know, or you just lost some money with a partner, but now, or you lost some stability, you lost some security, you lost something from somebody else, and it's really holding you back from allowing this new loved connection to prosper allow it there's there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection here there is and it's it's justice it's justice being served but you got to let go of what no longer serves you the old you need to let go of the old hurts the old insecurities the old instabilities I can see that you guys have restored structure. You freed yourself from whatever it was that brought you to your knees. You have. You've regained structure. You're doing quite, quite well with who you are. You are. But there's still one thing, because this death card is reversed, that needs to be let go, and it's those insecurities. You know, the insecurities within you. That's the next thing. Let them go. It's only hurting you by holding on to them. Hard work pays off. And, and once you release those insecurities... You will find happiness. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness to be had. Happiness, bliss with a partner. A soulmate. That could lead to marriage and commitment. Once you truly release those fears and insecurities. That somebody else brought you to your knees with. Justice is being served in your favor with a soulmate relationship. That leads to a lot of happiness. And perhaps a marriage. You guys have regained control. Your hard work has paid off and justice is, is being served in your favor. It is. It's like the universe, God, heaven is bringing you a dream come true. A birth of something new. A birth. Interesting. Against the grain. Number four. Four is my lucky number. I am Capricorn Moon. You want birds to be able to fly underwater? You want love to trump power? You want humanity to relate to each other as equals and to recognize the sacredness in you and in the world around you? You want to unleash the beauty that hides in even the ugliest of scenes and sentiments? You want to make possible what others say cannot be? You are a radical dreamer, a sacred rebel, and you bring the light of a more positive future into this world. However, this can have its burdens. Deep within you, you may feel that you don't really fit in with the rest of the world. Perhaps your sense of how things can be and how they really are is so different 
to the smaller minds or more fearful hearts of many others that have that are rarely received for all that they have to offer or all that you have to offer this may make you feel frustrated thwarted or lonely at times the universe so loves you for your unusual take on things for the quirkiness in you that dares to honor that which is different and renders the impossible possible it's possible this true love is possible you never you must never ever lose your unusual ways and become dry serious appropriate and conventional not even for appearances sake for you would lose your essence you are here to show that life is about so much more than conventional success go against the grain capricorn go against the grain there's something unconventional here in which you are being called to do it do it this oracle comes with a special message for you you are someone who lives and breathes in the depths of creative waters you need to lose yourself in the flow of music nature dreams imagination and fantasy through art and literature meditation dance and in sensual surrender to the sacred waters of the ocean the river the lake or even the bathtub you must go against the grain it's just your way you are not one of the followers but one of the agitators wonderful however yours is not a force of disrespectful chaos you are a loving catalyst and by simply being yourself you constantly remind people that there is always another way So I feel like there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. Go ahead. Express your love. Go it. Do it. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, says, or does, or has done in the past. Do it your way. Talk to you later.